Hi there. We're going to I'm going to show you quickly um, some of the Fine Art Film presets and what it would do to one image. What each preset would look like on one image. So here we have a picture taken by Brooke Logue, a photographer who is a, a good friend of Pretty Presets. And um, so I'm just going to go through the list and and show you what each preset looks like on this one picture. I'm going to undo it or reset by doing Control Z. Z as in zebra. If I'm on a Mac, I would do Command Z. Okay, so the first few are adding grain, and we'll do that in a little bit. But first, I want to do um, just to start with the top Azure Mist. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to undo it and go down. That is Bejeweled version one. Bejeweled version two. So you get very different. You get a warm or a cool version of that preset. Blue Onks. Faded Film. Fine Art Film. Licorice. Lux Cocoa. Lux Nuit Noor, I cannot pronounce that very well. Noor, I don't know. Matte color. Midnight. Nostalgic film. Rustic. Silver dream. Sterling, Summer Sky, Truffle, Velveteen. I love I love all of them, but I think this is my favorite. Vintage Treasure version one. Vintage Treasure version two. Wisteria. Now, those last three seemed very similar to me, so what I did was I made snapshots of each one so we can see. So we're on Wisteria. See my snapshots down here? We're on Wisteria. And then I'm going to go to Vintage Treasure version 2 and watch the color tone sh shifts a little bit. See that? Shifted. It's a little bit warmer. Now I'm going to go to vi Vintage Treasure version 1. And it's just a subtle change, but it is a change. So I'll do it again. So that's Vintage Treasure number one, version one, version two, and Wisteria. So there are differences. Okay, up here at the top, we have Add Grain. So what it will do, if I zoom into this picture, okay, we've watched what happens when we add the grain. See it? It makes it look um, older, vintage, and that's what it'll do. And then it just gets more intense from there. So that's what those add grains are going to do to your image. And if you don't like that, if you want to remove it, you can just do Control Z, or you can do your history and back up to the point where you, you know, before you had um, applied it. But these are beautiful, beautiful presets, and I love them. And um, I think that they will work well on a variety of images. Are they going to work perfectly on every single image? No, because presets are never one size fits all. They really all did work lovely for this image, but for another image, you know, some may look better than others. And so don't be alarmed when it, you know, they don't all look gorgeous on every one of your pictures because again, presets like actions in Photoshop or Photoshop elements are not one size fits all.